My name is Faith Browning and I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana. I go to FITM, the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising, and my major is Fashion Design. I chose FITM because it's more directed towards fashion design, like SCAD and Parsons is more of an art school and it has so many different majors, but FITM is really focused in on their design program. I took photography all through high school and my photography teacher was so inspiring. He really let us do whatever we wanted for the end of the year portfolio. And I decided that it wasn't so much about the photography that I loved versus dressing the models that I was using in the photos. And I realized how clothing could make such a mood to the photograph. One of the reasons why I'm at FITM is so that I can kind of find my niche in the industry because I know I have so many different passions and I have so many different things that I really love for clothing styles and designs and things. But I'm really trying to find my niche here at FITM. I thought that even just going to FITM would be a great way to kind of explore my different areas in the fashion industry. For FITM, we are asked to sketch many sketches every week. And sometimes we have to learn the basics. Sometimes we have to learn how to draw a proper button on Illustrator. Sometimes we have to draw a sundress on Illustrator. So a lot of times it's more of learning my skills and creating those to be stronger for when I'm creating my own line. But in my free time, I definitely do a lot of sketching and I do a lot of dreaming of my line. So I feel like the classes that I've been taking at FITM have helped me quite a bit for my future because when I was sketching before FITM, I would just sketch with passion and just do whatever I wanted, but I didn't really realize that when you send that in to a manufacturer, they're not going to know where to put the zipper or how you want the layers on the bottom of the dress. So it's really helped me to learn my technical skills so that in the real world I can actually send that out to different companies and they'll know what to do with it. My teachers are really inspiring because they've done so many things in the field. They actually have worked in the industry and they can really train you for the industry and not just for in the classroom. Stella McCartney really inspires me as a designer. She's the first person that really stuck out to me in the fashion industry because she really brings funk and like goofiness to fashion design. It's not so much elegance, although that is incorporated. And also she's decided not to use any animal products, so she doesn't use other animals to benefit her line, but she uses her own talent and her own materials. I'm vegan, so it's definitely something that I am going to incorporate into my line. I don't believe that using animal products is something that we need and I've just been really passionate about it ever since I became vegan. The kind of line that I want to create first is a streetwear line. I want everyone to be able to wear it, I want it to be affordable, and I want it to be made in America because another big passion of mine is ending sweatshops and the labor that many people around the world are having to do. So I want to create a streetwear line and then off of that I want to create a lingerie and a swimwear and a wedding and just gowns or just so many different lines. I know that eventually once I create my streetwear line I want to branch off and I want to have more of a variety and different levels of cost and production. Another thing I'm kind of working on right now is gender fluidity. I don't want it to be so sexualized for women or sexualized for men. I want it to be more of a gender fluid where in some senses male and female can wear the same design and that would be more in my streetwear line. But I can see the people wearing my clothing being about from the ages of 20 three to maybe 30. In five years, I see myself already owning my line and it being pretty successful and it growing. So it takes hard work to be a fashion designer. I know many people who 
are very, very creative, but it's just kind of like, oh, I sketch when I want to and it's fun. And that's definitely a part of fashion design. But another part of fashion design is working hard. I will be up till three, four in the morning and it's honestly not something that I would want to be doing, but I know that it's working towards something that I'm so passionate about and I'm so ready for.